Good morning, Sam. It is Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. I spent the last four days on the water, on a canoeing trip, traveling down the Mohican in Ohio. It is one of those things that I've always wanted to do and never had the chance to do it. I camped a lot as a kid, and I also canoed and kayaked a bit, but never paired the two together. There's something really humbling about being on the water, carrying everything that you need in a couple of canoes, some coolers, some tubs, a few dry bags. That's it. That's your whole camp. That's your whole setup. That's all the food, all the equipment, everything. And to travel along this path of water that runs through a state that you've lived in your whole life. As I was going down the river, sometimes the conversation between me and the other person was silent. We didn't really have anything to say, taking in the beauty that was surrounding us, focusing on trying to keep the boat straight as the current weaved in and out, avoiding the big rocks that we could see up ahead. Other times, conversation would spark, whether it was about the nature that was around us or sometimes just about deep and personal things. We weren't facing each other. One person in the front looking out, the other person facing their back. And I think it added a little bit of anonymity. We were talking without seeing one another's eyes, and at least I felt like there was nothing I couldn't say. The people that I was canoeing with were not people that I knew well, at least at the beginning of the trip. And yet the conversations that we had were deep and enthralling. We talked about religion and politics and art. We talked about where ideas come from and what life really means. We talked about our parents and our families, our love lives, our hopes and our dreams. And it was effortless as we paddled down the water. The conversation could flow or not. It didn't really matter. We were there together traveling, both on the same journey. There was a beauty to it, an elegance. Sam, I've never been one for small talk. I just don't like it. I think it's sort of pointless and stupid. Humans are humans. We all kind of have the same ideas, the same ambitions, the same hopes, the same dreams, the same things that we're scared about. Yet, when we first meet one another, we want to put on this facade, pretend like we care about your favorite color or what you're majoring in. Nobody really does. We want to talk about the good stuff, the juicy stuff, the stuff that we think about when we're falling asleep at night. That's the meat that makes conversation real. And this was a context where it was possible, where it felt safe and secure. And maybe it was just the lovely people that I was traveling with. But when we would finally dock our boat at the end of the day and turn around and face one another, we could both tell that the connection between us had deepened substantially. It was a beautiful trip for the river, for the conversation, and for the connection between people. I hope that sometime soon I can do it again. Sam, I'll see you tomorrow.